In special relativity, Lorentz covariance and Lorentz invariance are two very important concepts. But what exactly are these concepts? In this video, we will find out. A Lorentz covariant object belongs to a certain representation of the Lorentz group. In simpler terms, there is a clear rule how this object behaves under a Lorentz transformation, which can be written using the Lorentz transformation matrix lambda mu nu. Take for instance a 4 vector. We know how a 4 vector transforms under a Lorentz transformation by using the transformation matrix, therefore it is a Lorentz covariant quantity. A Lorentz invariant quantity is something that is invariant under a Lorentz transformation, which means it does not change when we are changing reference frames. Now let's look at some more examples. The 4 vector we mentioned earlier is Lorentz covariant since we know how it transforms using lambda mu nu. However, it is not a Lorentz invariant quantity, since it does change. Spinners are also Lorentz covariant, although their transformation behavior is a bit more complicated. Another example could be a scalar quantity like temperature. The temperature of some place is the same, whether we are measuring it while standing next to it, or while passing by next to it with a constant velocity. Therefore, it is a Lorentz invariant quantity. And it is also Lorentz covariant, since we know how it transforms under a Lorentz transformation. It doesn't. In other words, it belongs to the trivial representation of the Lorentz group. In general, an arbitrary tensor with a certain amount of Lorentz indices is a Lorentz covariant quantity. For every Lorentz index, we get a transformation matrix lambda. Such tensors are usually called Lorentz tensors. By the way, if you're using the 4-vector formalism, there's a very useful method to construct Lorentz invariant quantities. As long as all Lorentz indices are contracted, the quantity is automatically Lorentz invariant. Furthermore, a whole equation can be considered Lorentz covariant if it only contains objects that are themselves Lorentz covariant. For instance, the Maxwell equations written in terms of the electric and magnetic fields are not considered Lorentz covariant, even though we know how the electric and magnetic fields transform under a Lorentz transformation. But if you write them in terms of the electromagnetic field strength tensor F, these two equations are considered to be Lorentz covariant. As a consequence of what we now talked about, all Lorentz invariant quantities are Lorentz covariant, but not all Lorentz covariant quantities are Lorentz invariant. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.